everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. This is what I'm making today. In the August-December Stamping Up Mini catalogue, we have this bundle, the Warm Hugs bundle. Um, and you can also get to go with it the uh, mini coffee cups and also mini coffee cup carrier, which I haven't used in today's project, but which I will. So I've been having um, a little bit of a play with it, and this is what I have done. Now, at the outset, I want to say that I started this project back at the end of July, beginning of August, and uh, that was before um, everything basically, you know, j just just happened. Um, and for a long time, I didn't think that I was going to be able to finish this project, but I have. Hope you like it. Stay with me. I'll show you what. I have here one of the uh, mini coffee cups that are in the seasonal catalogue, and it's actually not all that mini. Three, two, one. I have here one of the mini coffee cups that are in the seasonal uh, catalogue, the autumn winter mini catalogue. And I have to say that um, they're not all that mini. Uh, I was expecting something nearer to the size of um, a little espresso paper cup. It's actually a good bit bigger than that. So I want to cover this and to do that I'm going to need a pattern. Now you could sacrifice one of these cups to make a pattern but as luck would have it I ordered some takeaway the other day and the cup that um, some of it came in uh, it was some some french fries some chips um, from five guys small size um, it was pretty much the same size as this so I was able to chop that one down, make a couple of little in adjustments and use that for my pattern so I didn't have to sacrifice one of these cups which is good because I don't want to sacrifice one of these cups because they're too cute. So this is the pattern that I made and I will put this on my Facebook page okay there will be a link to it from my Facebook page so if you don't want to sacrifice one of your paper cups then you are welcome to, to use this one. All right, so what I did, I put it onto the reverse of my designer series paper, uh, drew around it, and then cut out my shape. So now I'm going to cover my paper cup. And I've got some of my double sided tear and tape, I think it's tear and tape. I do have some contraband tape in my tape box and uh, sometimes I pull out the wrong kind. Okay, so I'm going to put a little strip of the tape onto my paper cup. And uh, not compulsory this bit but it will stop the covering from you know from dancing around too much come here come on come to mama that's the way okay so now I'm going to put the side that I haven't put tape on to up against that piece of tape and now it's a simple matter to just wind my way around come back here that cup wants to play find the lady I think come on there we go okay and uh, as I'm doing this it isn't even August yet and uh, what do you think? Are you in the Christmassy mood yet? Because we crafters, if we're doing Christmas, we have to start good and early. And there we go. That is my paper cup covered to perfection.
These are the warm wraps dies and um, I've done quite a bit of uh, preparatory work on my die cutting machine cutting things out so I've cut out some pieces in uh, that I think is called olive that's pear pizzazz that's real red and I've got some pieces in whisper white as well um, and I've, 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 I've cut out a good selection because I'm going to uh, decide as I go along how I want to decorate my cup but I did want to just point out a couple of things um, before I start sticking things together and it's about these dies so you have two of this piece and that's going to be the wrap that fits around your cup um, and you need to cut two of them um, and if you look at the back let's bring that in so you can see it on that curve you have one two three little stars I think you can just about see it there and on that curve you have two little stars okay and if you look at these decorative pieces you will see that two of them are longer than the other two it doesn't show up terribly well on that background let me turn my magnet sheet over and perhaps then you can see it a bit better yeah so you've got two long ones and two short ones and if you turn over the pieces, you will see that the longer ones have three little stars on them. And the shorter ones have two little stars on them. And what I did was I put them into my die cutting machine. I had a magnetic plate, so I popped them down and there they stuck. And then. I put them together like that and I ran them through at the same time. So we have this pattern and whoops, well I didn't want that to happen but it did <laughs> and we have this pattern. So again same thing you have two dots, two stars sorry on the shorter pieces and three stars on the longer pieces and these uh, cut a sort of scalloped and stitched edge and again three stars on the top piece and two stars on the shorter edge so when you've cut the pieces out that is the effect you get and the edge just lines up perfectly I've got one there that didn't didn't quite pop out there we go so we have that pattern or we have that pattern I'm going to take uh, the stitched scalloped pieces which I've cut in real red and I'm going to glue them on to the uh, the main wrap piece I've already done those two pieces there so I'm just going to add a little bead of liquid adhesive along the top there. Now if you've watched my channel at all, you will know that I am a big fan of the liquid adhesive because it allows me to do that, which is to kind of adjust how it all fits together. But if you prefer to use something else, you go ahead and do that. So I'm making sure that I've got my top curve and my bottom curve and I need two of each for my wraps and I've got some liquid adhesive showing through there but I'm not going to stress about it because that's going to dry clear and uh, you will never know my glue bottle has been standing on its head for quite some time um, because I haven't been crafting for quite some time I've had other things on my mind and uh, I was wondering I mean at one point I didn't I thought I was not going 
to start crafting or start YouTubing again, but uh, you know what, in the end I changed my mind and I'm going to do that one again because I just spotted that that piercing hadn't come out. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, uh, I am still considering whether I will carry on as a stamping up demonstrator. Um, I hope I will. Um, but at the moment I'm not 100% sure whether I've got enough energy to put into it. And uh, But whether I remain a stamping up demonstrator or not. I'm still going to be using the stamping up products that I already have because I think they are absolutely top-notch quality and um, I will uh, probably carry on with my channel I just won't put as much time and effort into it okay so I'm put the top back on that just for a second and I'm going to start with these because they've had a little bit longer to to dry and I'm just going to curve them I'm just kind of training the card okay just trying to not be too rough with it and put a crease in it I just want to get a, a nice little bit of a bend and uh, you could do this over a bone folder or a scissors if you preferred and I'm going to put a little bit of my liquid adhesive onto the edge and I'm just going to butt those up together and give them a squish I'm going to bring in my cup and just check it for fit and as you see it's pretty good so same again a little bit of liquid adhesive bring the edges together and butt them up and give it a squish I want this to be fairly seamless. Okay, so I'm going to put that on one side uh, for the adhesive to set, and then I'm going to do the same thing with these two pieces. So, okay. when I first saw this piece, uh, when I three, two, one, when I die cut this piece out, first of all, uh, I thought it was a bow and uh, I guess it could still be a bow if you just cut it out in some plain coloured card that would look nice but in fact it isn't a bow what it is it's these guys it's these um, these peppermint sticks and uh, I now want to stamp onto that little piece of whisper white because it doesn't look like anything much as it is so I've got my little stamp here from warm hugs so I'm going to ink it up with my Memento Tuxedo Black. Give that a push. And now I'm going to take the, this is the waist from the die cut piece. And I've just uh, kept it, cut round it. And I am just going to stick that down around the piece that I just stamped. And now my die cut piece will fit in there and that should now be in exactly the right place for me to do this and there you go so that's only one half of it the other half of it is this piece and I'm going to fit that again into that little bit of cardboard it's just high enough that it can feel it and um, I should have said by the way I'm using my stamparatus and because this is they are photopolymer stamps I'm using my squishy mat I uh, I treated myself and I bought the uh, 
the upgraded one. It, uh, but it comes with um, an ordinary common or garden little black one. So I'm inking the candy cane stamp up now in real red and I'm just putting my already stamped piece back in there and press. And uh, yes, we're pretty well, slightly off register, but you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to live with that. If I'd taken a little bit more time, um, I could have got it exactly, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with that. So uh, yeah. Now there's a few other pieces that uh, I also want to um, give the same kind of treatment to. So I want to put this border onto these shaped pieces and um, on one of the circular pieces uh, I think I'm going to go with for you. So I'm going to do that off camera exactly the same way, put the, uh, the waste piece down, stick it down and then stamp onto it and then when I've come back, when I've done that I will come back and uh, we'll maybe start assembling uh, these, these wraps. Okay, see you in a bit. Just before I put the stamps away and go on to three, two, one. Just before I put the stamps away and go on to embellishing uh, the wraps on the cups, I just want to say one thing about photopolymer stamps. Now, as you can see, I used my real red ink on these two stamps, and they have stained. I'm not getting upset about it. I know there are people who um, try to spend ages getting their stamps to be absolutely, you know, pristine, as perfectly clean as the day that they first opened the box, but you can't do that, all right? They are tools, not duos, as somebody once told me, and you can expect them to show signs of use. And certainly with photopolymer stamps, if they are good quality, they will stain. That is to do with all the tiny little pores that there are in the photopolymer that kind of suck up the ink uh, and basically allow you to get a good stamped image. So if you've been using, and it seems to be particularly red inks that stain, so if you've been using an ink that stained your stamp, as long as you've cleaned them, as long as when you press them down onto a clean piece of paper, the, you know, they, they don't leave a, a ghost image, uh, they are clean. And I just don't worry about it. Now, if you do, you could always try not using them, which would be a, a pity. Or if you're really obsessed about having a super clean set, you're going to have to buy two. All right, and then you can have one, you know, one for show and one for blow, as my mother used to say about, about our hankies when we were children and when we went out. Um, this is normal. This is fine. Don't get upset about it. I've had my say. Okay, so here are the uh, the images and the bits and pieces that I have. So I've got some of this rather gorgeous ribbon. Um, now we had this last year in the Stampin' Up! Uh, um, holiday catalogue, um, but we had it in, I think it was in Cherry Cobbler last year. It was definitely, uh, it was definitely a red colour. Yeah, so I can wrap that around there just like that. So I think that is what I will definitely going to have a piece of that. I still haven't decided which of these two that I'm going to decorate. Excuse me while I get my snips out. See, I'm not organised today, am I? So let's wrap around a piece that's kind of like that. And I'm going to cut it along the chevron because I can. And I've got that little scrap left over or something. Okay, so do I want to use that one or do I want to use uh, this one? I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down. And uh, if I'd had a bit of forethought, probably would have brought my glue dots. But I didn't. So, uh, 
oops, so yeah, I want to line, kind of line that up with the join because I want it to kind of be covered over that join. I'm making the dog's breakfast of this, isn't I? <laughs> Never mind, it'll be all right on the nights. And actually, I could have cut that quite a bit shorter because what I'm going to be doing in a moment is covering it over with a panel. Okay, so let's try and get that reasonably straight. A little bit of a, a tug here. Okay. Nope, nope, not liking that. So again, let's pull that apart and let's try again. And I know that's, that looks a bit better, I think. Okay. Do I have enough of this piece to go around? No, you see, if I'd cut that bit a little bit shorter, I would have had enough to do the two of them. So, uh, but as is, I've just got the one. All right. So now I'm going to build my sentiments. So I can start with some old olive at the back or some real red that's quite jolly and then I can cover that with a piece of okay that's that's starting to work as I'd like it and I'm going to come it to this one so I'm just going to join those two pieces together I'm going to curve them a little bit because that's going to go on to the front like that. So what have I got now? Okay, so I've got my For You sentiment, which is in, um, this is the, the pear pizzazz and uh, some dimensionals. There's big ones, I want small ones. find my large dimensionals but that's not a problem because we crafted before we had small dimensionals so we can adapt so I'm going to take the it's, it's been so long since I crafted okay I haven't crafted since probably the end of July and it's now the beginning of October so uh, I'm out of practice so I hope that you'll forgive me okay so let's take the backs off of the dimensionals <laughs> and let's line it up so that my writing is going to go the right way again doesn't really doesn't really matter okay so here is my I was going to raise that up I don't think I'm going to I think I'm going to put that down flat in the middle. All right, so so once I will have a little bit of sense and a little bit of forethought and I will use my tweezers. And there you go. OK, 
Okay, so that is where the join is on my ribbon. And how best to glue this on. Right, so if I curve that lower piece so that it matches the curve of the wrap, and then I give it some liquid adhesive. And I'm just going to pinch that into place. Let's get, let's get the tweezers to help me here. Because I want to be... There we go. So I can apply a little bit of pressure. Um, again, I could have used some, uh, some of my sticky tape here. Would have been a help bit more adhesive because it's being sucked up by the ribbon. And there we are. So now I'm going to use the pieces that I've got left over to make a uh, an embellishment for this one and then I'll come back and I'll see which one I like the better. And there it is, that's finished off that wrap. Um, now I did go and um, stick a little bit of the uh, one of the centres from this piece onto the back just to hold that ribbon in place um, and it's now ready to slide onto my mini coffee cup and it's a perfect fit. So now that is ready for me to fill with whatever I want. So I could put um, a sachet of some nice hot chocolate in there and maybe, you know, a few marshmallows and some chocolate sprinkles as well. That would be very nice. Or I could just put sweeties in there, some chocolates. That would be, you know, that would be a nice little present as well. Um, or I could uh, surprise somebody and put something a little bit small and special in there. So uh, I could also use it to drink out of, although I probably would, uh, wouldn't go to all this effort if I was just going to drink um, some coffee out of it uh, because it does have a lid that fits on quite snugly uh, and there it is it's a perfect little miniature coffee cup so I just want to bring back the uh, the other band that I that I made for it uh, and uh, for this one uh, for the center of it I die cut the uh, little heart that comes in the warm wrap dies out of the red velvet paper and I've got a little bit of something stuck there there we are let's get rid of that and again on the back I just covered up the the seal there with the uh, the, the center of that um, of that piece basically but from that one if that makes sense uh, so, uh, which of them do you prefer? I definitely prefer this one. Okay, I, uh, I I definitely like that one better. But you know what? Everybody's taste is different, so maybe you prefer that one. Let me know in the comments down below. So that is it for today. Thank you very very much for joining me. Um, not hundred percent sure when I'm going to be posting again, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping it will be sometime soon. So if it is, come back and see me, won't you? But for now, bye bye. <laughs>